李克强副总理，尊敬的普利克先生和夫人，每次设计建筑，我都不只是设计一个建筑，而是在设计一个保有多样性和差异性的世界，走向一条重返自然的道路。这就是我在得知我获奖的那个时刻，我正在思索的问题，也是我伸向未来的目光。By honoring Wang Shu, we honor not only a man, but also honor a country and a culture that over the past 49 years was able to foster an architect of such skill, intellect, and vision. Yeah, for me it's a surprise. Yeah, because I worked very hard for a long time. I really don't think about the price. But suddenly this big price comes to me, I think, oh, I'm still so young, you know. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. I think it's a really good feedback to my hard work. Their father's parents go to the to the Yeah, here is good, but here this means too big. This place will feel the height and the height will start to tilt. How much influence, I don't know. But it really has some influence to young generation now. Many, many young people, they, they want to connect me and they want to come to here. This is also why I, I spent so much time to teach the young generation. You know, in China, architects like me, everyone is very busy. There are no time for teaching. But I still stand here, spend more than 10 years. I established this new school. I want a different way to teach the young generation. <laughs> In the early of the 1990s, I think, oh, it's too fast away, it's not good, it's not right. So I stopped. So I almost stopped work to design a big building for 10 years. And uh, I just uh, thinking, have the trip in the countryside, landscape, in the cities. And uh, I do some small works about the renovation for the old buildings. I worked with the Chris Mantegazer, 
I want to know the traditional materials, handcraft skills, 